The Nintendo Entertainment System Game POC is the software storage medium for the Nintendo Entertainment System. All officially licensed NTSCU and PAL region cartridges, or carts, are 13.3 cm tall, 12 cm wide and 2 cm thick. Early NES game packs are held together with five small, slotted screws. Games released after 1987, designated Rev A on the back label, were redesigned slightly to incorporate two plastic clips molded into the plastic itself, eliminating the need for the top two screws. This is why older NES carts are referred to as five screw and are distinguishable by their flat tops and, as the name suggests, five screws instead of three. Around this time, the standard screws were changed to 3.8 mm security screws to further secure the ROMs inside from tampering. The back of the cartridge bears a label with instructions on handling, explaining that the cartridge is not to be stored in extreme temperatures, not to be immersed in water, and not to be cleaned with benzene, thinner, alcohol, or other such solvents. These labels are gray for standard games and gold or in rare cases silver for games that feature battery-powered storage. Production and software revision codes were imprinted as stamps on the back label to correspond with the software version and producer. With the exception of The Legend of Zelda and Zelda II, The Adventure of Link, which are available as gold plastic game packs, all licensed NTSC and PAL cartridges are a standard shade of gray plastic. Unlicensed cartridges were produced in Black Tengen, American Video Entertainment and Wisdom Tree, Robin Egg Blue Color Dreams and, Wisdom Tree and Gold Chimerica and bear a slightly different shape and style than a vintage Nintendo licensed NES game POC. Nintendo also produced yellow plastic carts for internal use at Nintendo service centers, although these test carts were never made available for purchase by consumers. Famicom cartridges are shaped slightly differently, measuring only 7.0 cm in length, and 10.8 cm in width. While the NES uses a 72-pin interface, the Famicom system uses a 60-pin design. Some early NES games, most commonly Gyromite, include 60-pin Famicom PCBs and ROMs with a built-in converter. Unlike the predominantly gray-colored NES game packs, official Famicom cartridges were produced in many colors of plastic. Adapters, similar in design to the popular accessory game Genie, are available that allow Famicom games to be played on an NES. Topic: 60-pin versus 72-pin. The Family Computer or Famicom, the Japanese version of the NES, utilize a 60-pin cartridge design. This yields smaller cartridges than the NES, which utilizes a 72-pin design. Four pins are used for the 10NES lockout chip. Ten pins were added that connect a cartridge directly to the expansion port on the bottom of the unit. Finally, two pins that allow cartridges to provide their own sound expansion chips were removed. Some early NES cartridges housed the same printed circuit boards as their Famicom counterparts, using a converter such as the T89 cartridge converter to allow them to fit inside the internally compatible NES hardware. Nintendo did this to reduce costs and inventory by using the same PCBs in North America and Japan. The cartridge dimensions of the original Famicom measure at 10.8 times 6.9 cm, compared with 10.4 times 14 cm for its North American redesign. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> External sound chips. The Famicom has two cartridge pins that were originally intended to facilitate the disk system's own sound chip, but are also used by cartridge games to provide sound enhancements. In the design of the NES, these pins were removed from the cartridge port and relocated to the bottom expansion port. As a result, individual cartridges cannot make use of this audio functionality, and many NES localizations suffer from technologically inferior sound compared to their equivalent Famicom versions. Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse is a notable example of this problem. Third-party manufacturing 
In Japan, Konami, Namco, Bandai, Taito, IREM, Jaleco and Sunsoft manufactured their own game cartridges for the Famicom. This allowed these companies to design their own customized chips for specific purposes, such as the increased sound quality of Konami's VRC6 and VRC7 chips. Overseas, all licensed NES cartridges were made by Nintendo except Konami and Acclaim, who produced their own PCBs, but used Nintendo's provided gray cartridge shells. See also Memory Management Controller MMC, the main chips which can be deployed inside of each game POC, to extend the NES or Famicom's capabilities.